Hello, and welcome to another pack and prep with me. This time we are headed on a little road trip, very short to California, specifically Irvine. Um, it's just an overnight trip, so like mm, about 24 hours. Yeah, I think it's like about 24 hours. So anyway, let's, um, let's get packing because we leave tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I'm just bringing literally one outfit and pajamas and undergarments have things like literally just for one day. So this is for my daughter. Dress, leggings, extra t-shirt, pajamas, underwear, socks are all right here. This is my side, same thing. I've got underwear, socks, pajamas, um, my outfit for the next day. And then I'm bringing my compression socks to wear in the car and my belly band thing. Um, Cause we'll be doing a little bit of walking and stuff, but that's what's happening. I'm hoping <laughs> to get both of our things into these packing cubes, but we'll see kind of how that works out. But um, And then over here, I've got my usual, it's um, my like charging organizer situation here. So like on the one side, I have the three in one for your um, Apple Watch, your phone, your iPhone, and then your AirPods. And then it's just like the connector cord. And then the other side, I just have extra camera batteries and the extra cords and stuff all up in here. So that's what goes in this guy. This is our first aid kit. This always comes with us when we travel. It has all of our basic necessities, thermometer, Tylenol for both adults and for children, Benadryl, then I've got like Band-Aids and Neosporin, all that stuff in there. So all the basic basic first aid essentials, so this always comes with us. And then this is a new little toiletry bag um, I heard about from um, Pixie Dusted Mom on YouTube, and so I'm trying it out. I mean, right now it's pretty good. They've got it separated by the two sides, so this is my side, this is my daughter's side, so this basically just has her moisturizer, her hair conditioner, body wash slash shampoo, sunscreen, toothpaste, and her little hairbrush that I share with her. <laughs> and then inside it's got some floss picks and hair ties for her. Same thing on my side, hair tie, floss picks. Um, a little spatula for my skincare if I need it. Then on my side, I've got my spray serum, moisturizer, face sunscreen, um, cleanser, makeup remover, dry shampoo, Tide stick just in case, toothpaste, and then this is like a mini like nail file, nail um, clipper thing. Um, the only thing that's missing is going to be our toothbrushes, and then this can get closed up tomorrow morning. So all of that is going to get packed up. And there we go, <laughs> easy peasy. I just put my little shacket into my daughter's cube because um, there was room in here, but not as much room as she had left over. So, <clears throat> and then the socks I'm going to wear tomorrow in the car, and then I'm going to wear my bag, obviously. But and then shoes, we're just going to wear the same shoes. Pretty simple. Um, oh, I think the only thing I'm missing is my makeup. But I'm going to do my makeup tomorrow, and then I'll throw it in. I haven't figured out what bag we're bringing yet because I need to see how much stuff my husband has, and then we'll figure it out from there. Okay, hello. It is quite a bit later. It's actually about nine o'clock. Um, um, I think after, what happened after? We did the packing and then, oh yeah, we just like, we had um, some calls cause it was like my dad's birthday. So we had a call with my family and then we had a call with some friends for just like a little catch up. And then we went out to dinner and then we came back and I needed to get my daughter like straight into bed cause she took like a 10 minute car nap today and she refused to like go back to sleep. So she was basically running on not a nap day. <laughs> anyway, um, she and my husband are actually both asleep right now because um, he's just, he was just super tired and like couldn't stay awake. So it is what it is. So I was just finishing cleaning up the house cause I didn't do anything. I literally was like, we got home. I had to get her like cleaned up and into bed right away. So. Thankfully, she is down, she is out. I was able to clean up the house because, um, you know, I I am like 
I try to make sure the house is clean or at least tidy enough before we go anywhere because I hate leaving it a mess, <laughs> um, even if it's just for one day. But anyway, um, so what I have here is I'm kind of just organizing some of the snacks we're gonna take with us for the road trip. I'm not gonna worry about any like food while we're um, over in California because I think we'll be fine. Like we will find food. This is just like snacks in the car um just in case right so what i'm bringing is so i will i am going to pack a cooler bag because um we're going to bring our own gallon of water which i'll put in the fridge tonight and then i'll pack it in our big mickey cooler bag with ice packs to keep it cold um until we can put it in the fridge at the hotel so in that scenario i was trying to avoid anything refrigerated but i do have like some cut up fruit i want to bring um and i was just going to bring these two yogurt pouches one for me one for my daughter these are like the shelf stable ones but what i might do is i'll bring these and refrigerate them at the hotel so that way we have them for the next day in case we need like yogurt and obviously we don't have to refrigerate them but i prefer cold yogurt <laughs> so um so anyway, bring these water some goldfish and this little choco boy snacks that my daughter loves those i got a granola bar for her um and these two other little granola things i might grab or grab some bars but um these are just like little granola bites that I'm trying out from Costco. Um, we'll see. I've got a banana. I'm th just one banana this morning. And then I've got some sweet potato that I baked the other day. We've got the bad snack, <laughs> the crunchy white Cheetos. Um, these are the superior Cheetos, if anyone ever asks. The uh, yogurt, right? Yeah, you know, strawberry yogurt covered pretzels. Um, we are big fans of those right now. And then, oh yeah, and then I do have two of the Dave's Killer Bars. One's like an oatmeal, banana oatmeal something, and the other one's like a chocolate brownie one, or cocoa something, I don't know, something like that. I have those, those are like always in the um, the diaper bag, <laughs> the backpack, um, so that's fine. So what I'll do is I'm gonna leave all this out for now because I'm gonna have to pack everything up with the refrigerated like cold stuff tomorrow anyway. So we'll pack that up in the morning before we head out the door. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up the backpack, which has like stuff for my daughter and then like my stuff also, because um, normally I would have brought my little like um, Petunia Pickle Bottom sling bag, but I'm gonna bring my little purse that I showed in the packing just to carry the essentials and everything else will just go in the backpack because um, I think that'll just be easier. So let's let's go pack that up. Okay, so this is the backpack I'm going to bring. It's my uh, my new Petunia Pickle Bottom in the Pixar print. Um, and I'm just gonna like kind of repack it up with you so you can see what's gonna go in there. So in this front pocket, um, I always have wipes in here just for anything. Um, I am bringing a toilet seat cover for my daughter because I stopped bringing the potty seat, um, the foldable one, but oh, we're actually gonna have to bring it this time for the hotel room. So it's a good thing I just said that because that reminded me. Um, so I'll pack that up in a second, but um, I don't bring it out with me. So I just have this for emergency. So most of the time we can make do without it. So this is like a just in case. Um, so this all go in here. Um, I'm going to throw in a pack of the wet ones just for like sanitizing like hand sanitizing purposes so that will go in this front pocket so we'll close that up ah! um this pocket right here i'm going to stick my oh well you know what normally i would put my wallet in here but because i'm bringing a purse i'm not going to do that so this will stick to the side um instead what i'll put in here are here. I'm gonna put in these are the um Dave's bars I was talking about. This is like my on the go snack. So for me and my daughter. So I'll put these in here. That works. 
And then in this back pocket here, I'm just gonna put um, our portable charger, charge bank, whatever you call it. That's gonna go in there. Um, and the inside, okay. So this is like my little like own personal stuff. It has like my vitamins, emergency medicine, uh, lotion, hair tie, hand sanitizer, lip oil. Um, so this is like my stuff. I'm gonna actually stick this in here. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm gonna stick this in here in one of these side pockets just for ease. Um, and I'm going to throw in, let's, yeah. So I'm gonna throw in, this is my daughter's like activity set thing. It just has like stickers, a notebook, um, crayons. Um, I put like a glow stick in here, a little LED writing board, like all that kind of stuff. Just like fun stuff for her. So that's gonna go in here. I'm going to throw in her little, this is a little meal bag. Um, just has like food scissors, straw, utensils, a bib. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so this is going to go in. Um, I'm going to throw in my little reusable tote just in case. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to throw in here is my um insta 360 go however i need to replace this backup protective screen because i literally just dropped it and that whole thing cracked um i think this screen is stronger than the protective but i'd rather not risk it and have the protective on here and have that crack instead so i'm gonna replace that but this will go in here as well um, and like that's it for this bag. The only last thing that's gonna go in here is the iPad for the car. So that'll be it in there. <laughs> um, what I will do is actually, I'm gonna throw my um, compression socks in here just cause I won't wear them until like we're actually driving like on the road driving. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I'm gonna bring, I'm going to bring the stroller caddy, give this a little test run. Um, while we're just like out and about. So I'm gonna bring this and yeah, I think that's it. Um, I do have my hair clip, maybe I'll throw my hair clip in here too. Mm. Do I have space for it? <laughs> Not in here. Right, I'll figure that out, but anyway. Um, so it's nice to have a hair clip handy. Even like sometimes a hair tie is just like not enough. So I'll just throw it in there, it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me, oh, grab the potty seat. Okay, so I've got her potty seat. This will just go in the suitcase, but I'm just gonna have it out. I'll bring it upstairs um, until we figure out what bag we're actually bringing because my husband hasn't packed yet, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I'll bring this upstairs. Make sure I have everything I need here. So otherwise, we're pretty good to go, hopefully. <laughs> Um, the last thing I'll show, but I'll show this actually in the morning is what's, cause I, I did a video like this before. Um, but, um, I'll just kind of quickly show what we keep in our car for like emergencies. So that's why like normally I'd have like an extra outfit in here, but because I know we're driving and we're going to have our car with us. Um, I have a whole extra outfit for my daughter with a wet dry bag in the car at all times. So I'm gonna use that instead of carrying it around with us. Um, we've honestly like almost never needed it, but you know, I never not, I never want to be without it in case we do need it. Um, the only thing I might do is I might throw in an extra pair of shoes um, just to have in the car, just in case, because um, normally I pack at least two pairs of shoes for her, but I wasn't going to this time because it's literally like an overnight trip, but just in case. So I will probably just throw in an extra pair of shoes for her tomorrow in the car. But yeah, in the morning, I will kind of just show how our little car situation is set up um, for emergencies for my daughter. <laughs> All right, so that is it for right now. Good night. I'll see you in the morning for the rest of this video. <laughs> okay, hello. Good morning. It is the next day, um, I just quickly had some breakfast. I need to like shower and get ready for the day. But um, 
before I did that, I wanted to show, like I said, kind of like our car setup. And this is like our day-to-day -day setup. So I didn't, I'm not gonna do anything special for the road trip, except like when I'm bringing extra in. So first thing, and obviously we have our car seat and everything set up. I put on this new little shade here <clears throat> because um, there's like just, there. we have this shade on the car already, but there's a spot like right here that's not covered. And you know, the sun also still leaks through. So because we live in Vegas, um, I put this on, it's like a cheap like car curtain window thing from Daiso, but it's nice because it just like suction cuffs and then you can move this um, when necessary. So that's been nice. So that kind of just shields her face from just extra sunlight pouring in. This is my daughter's car seat. Um, we always keep a little blanket in here. She loves being cozy, especially if she's gonna do a car nap. So I'll just kind of go through. We have like a bin of stuff that sits at the bottom of um, her car seat in front of her seat. I need to do like a reorganization. Honestly, I do. I've been looking into like chunk organizers or something because especially with baby number two coming, I wanna be able to have like diapers and things like that. Um, ready to go in the trunk but also um you know something that's easily removable because we do live in vegas it gets so hot so if like i know we're gonna be like out for the whole day i don't want to like risk um you know just things weird things happening if it's like a hundred plus day so all right first thing this is our potty seat this always stays in the car it is always ready to go it is lined with a potty liner. This, I love these because they have a little absorbent pad here. Um, it's these guys right here. <clears throat> these are the ones I always order and always keep the bag with the potty in here. Another thing I keep in here is I mostly got rid of like all of our pull-ups and stuff. Um, I kept a couple and I have them in here. So I just leave them in here. Um, this is literally just for emergency if for some reason you know like we can't get her into a potty or we need her to like be still for all, just any sort of reason um so this is like that emergency thing so this always stays in the car ready to go whenever we need it and the nice thing is that now that we've ever needed it but you know if for some reason one of the adults needs the potty then they can also use that too <laughs> another thing we keep in the car are tissues this is um both for tissue use and for potty use <laughs> this is the extra outfit i was talking about that i keep in the car for my daughter like i said it's a full outfit wet dry bag um and the only thing to throw in here are socks <laughs> the next thing i have I, so on a day-to-day -day basis, I keep our sling in the car. Um, I don't carry it like in my bag or anything unless um, I know that like we won't be in the car and I need it. But in terms of like having it ready to go, this is the one I always, always keep in the car. So this stays in the car. Um, the only other thing I have pretty much are just like books for my daughter to read. Um, some like toys, like poppets, like things like that. I have like this whole console thing here I'll show in a second. This is like a splat mat, but I keep it in the car just in case for some reason we need to like sit somewhere or like we have like an impromptu like, not even picnic, but anyway, either way, I keep this in the car because we don't need it at, for its original purpose. So I figured why not just keep it in the car it doesn't hurt and it just like sits on the bottom of this little <clears throat> thing here and just you know when we need it it is there so this is the kind of like situation back here so i have this thing which attaches to the front seat it just has a bunch of like toys and things like that i need to like clear this out and reorganize it at some point because it is overflowing um it has hooks and straws. Um, I have a little brick in here because I have like, um, like my phone charger over here in case I need it. Um, we keep like our grip socks for all three of us, my husband, my daughter, and myself. 
Um, I've got like goldfish emergency snack down there, like sidewalk chalk, a bunch of these poppy tubey things. So that all kind of lives there. Um, and then she's got little, little trinkets everywhere. So that's kind of like our little backseat setup. The only other things we really like keep in the car for emergencies are like, I have like paper towels, toilet paper roll back in the trunk. We have like um, a spare umbrella back there. Um, we got, there's something else back there. I can't remember what it was, <laughs> but either way, yeah. That's kind of like the sitch here. Um, the only thing I need to throw in here actually is some extra hand sanitizer because I realized we didn't have any in the car. So definitely wanna have some of that and maybe a pack of disinfectant wipes just to keep in the car. So anyway, we're gonna throw that in and yeah, we're gonna move on with our day. But that is gonna be the end of this video, this pack and prep with me because um, we are all set to go for the most part. I need to actually do the physical packing, <laughs> um, but that kind of needs to happen after, you know, washing up and all this stuff. So <clears throat> anyway, if you're watching this vlog, stay tuned for the next one because that is going to be our travel day and our weekend or weekend 24 hours in Irvine so make sure you stay tuned for that and yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye